I'm going to talk to you about ADI Trainer Trainer, so training people to become drive instructors. If you don't know who I am, my name's Graham Hooper, I'm Managing Director of Tri Coaching Partnership. The young lady over to my right is Di Everett Skinner, she's our training manager, she's just done the standard Chick Gold Sessing Risk Management Workshop. Um, but I'm going to talk to you primarily about Trainer Trainer, and I'm going to talk to you about our course because it's probably the one I understand the most. Yeah, rather than somebody else's course, and I will let you know the benefits. But you know, it's a workshop, yeah? Okay, now the thing about workshops is guess what's supposed to happen in workshops? It's, interactive. <laughs> it's supposed to be interactive, isn't it? Yeah? So, yeah, you're wishing you all want to leave now. <laughs> okay, it's not going to be that painful, but you, can, you know these things where you have to talk to people, yeah? I would like you to talk to people in twos or threes and ask yourself the question, why are you here? Yeah. What goals do you have? So when I mean what goals you have, let's make it relative to becoming a trainer or already are a trainer. Yeah. And what will being a trainer mean to you? So when I say what goals do you have, do you want to expand your business? Do you want to go into instructor training? What, do you, what are you looking for? Welcome. Come in. Okay, it's a five pound fine for being late, don't you? Five, yeah. <laughs> okay, what I've asked everyone to do on the count of three is to discuss why you're here. He's got the wrong room. <laughs> <laughs> what goals do you have with regards to your business and growing it and becoming a, a trainer? And what will, being, what will being a trainer mean to you? So, give yourself I'll give yourself until 10 to. Talk. talk, you're going to have to find someone to talk to. But Hello. It's lonely, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talk. Hello. Yeah, go talk to the young man. <laughs> Just I'll, I'll start the front and work back. 
just, I just want some answers to this, and then what I'm going to try to do during the course of my presentation is answer those questions as well as I give you the presentation. And if I don't cover it by the end, we'll have a short Q&A session at the end, and I will cover off everything. So I will have a good idea of what I need to focus my conversation on with you. Okay? So, um, just at the front, just anything. Why are you here? to see what's going on in the industry. Okay, so industry awareness. Excuse my poor writing. Okay, what goals did you have? Um, I'd like to expand my driving school. Okay. And move from teaching learners into teaching driving instructors. And I'll just put diversify, okay? Yeah. Okay. Probably the same thing. The same? The same? That's good. Yeah. The next row? Did you come up with anything different? Alan. Alan. What, on the first one? Yeah, well, yeah. why are you here? Why am I here? Why am I interested in driving instructors? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, and what will being a trainer mean to you? Um, it will mean that I'll be improving the standard of the uh, of the people teaching. Mm. Mm. Because at the moment, uh, although uh, yeah, be, I mean, be I, careful. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm with the AI. Okay. And so I get people come to me, and the first time I meet them, I say, you know, they're driving lessons before. I'll tell you what, after this weekend, I'll put them in the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Friday night. Yeah. I didn't do much better at the free barbecue and booze in the pub on Saturday. So, yeah, yeah. I'll be joining yeah. 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 Some of the teaching, uh, some of the things they do, and some of the things I hear, I think, it was your driving instructor. And I bet we all hear this. Because yeah. 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 you know what? In life, it's always the others. Yeah. 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 I'm perfect. It's always the others. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, it's not the truth, is it? Okay, we can all be proof. So, yeah, thank you. Okay, any different here? I haven't finished yet. Oh, yes, finished. No? So, speak. So, I'm going to shot. Tell them about the ultimate goal. Okay, what's the ultimate goal? The ultimate goal really is to improve the standard of the people who are actually driving. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm good. Yeah. So, improved standards, <laughs> upper AEI, PEI, <laughs> learner. Okay, brilliant. Have we got anything different? Go on. Uh, so you learn. So you, you want to be here to learn about what the trainers should be learning. Okay. So I'm going to put from the PDI viewpoint. Okay. Thank you. What else have we got? Anything different? Anything you want to add to this? Okay. You should always look at uh, you know next stage. You know, because obviously being an ADI, you know, you should always look what next. Okay. So. And what yeah, next? Uh, becoming a you know a trainer it really opens the eyes. You know, how yeah. your, your trainer trains you. Absolutely. So we're having a waving. It's a bit like on Facebook Messenger. <laughs> I've recently qualified. So yeah. See what the future holds for me. Okay. So what next? The future. Okay. Good. Excuse me as I go up the page, but I just. Anything want to add? Anyone desperately want to add anything to this? More business, I guess. More business. Yeah. Yeah. More business. So do rules of audit. I'm not doing audit. Okay. But I, there is loads of new rules with audit. Um, what I suggest go and speak to the DBSA. John Sheridan and John Carradine are there today. John Sheridan and John Carradine set up the audit. Um, this. I'll be, I will touch on all the just a little bit, but I need to go through this, this presentation because I do a whole different course. It takes a day on all of it. Okay, we've got 20 minutes. <laughs> so, I'm going to talk to you. If you've got a question, yeah, hold it because otherwise I'm going to be stuck on time. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'll answer your questions at the end. Is that fair enough? Yes, yeah. I don't like talking to you, but I'm time poor. 
Okay, so what's different about our training at Tri Coaching? Because I like to think it's different. Yeah. Welcome, just grab a seat. Okay, Tri Coaching Instructor Training, the package is dual branded with your company logo. So, if you want to pass this round, and you can see on the front of the back, you can have your company logo no. put on our course group. Okay, hello, Hi. welcome Hi. back. Okay, and we're going to talk a little bit more about this in detail a little bit later, okay? You'll be out to advertise using our Doodly videos. Does anyone not know what Doodly is? Okay, good. So after this, come and see us at our stands, and I'll show you some Doodly videos, okay? Because they, if you, when you go into instructor training, you need to market yourself, don't you? So we will dual brand in fact, we will brand the videos to the London Drivers. Yeah? And so when the video comes out, it's all your name, not ours. Okay? So it makes you look professional. And that's what we're trying to do. Um, the ticket package, this package will be updated. And it's matched now to the DVSA National Driver Rider Tracking Standards. Because poor old guy cross-referenced <laughs> every single standard <laughs> to make sure that our course fits in with the DVSA national standards because if you think about this, if you are wanting to become a driving instructor, yeah, you don't want Joe Bloggs standards, do you? Joe Bloggs driving school, this is the way Joe Bloggs does it, yeah. You will be wanting to become, now some of you may not like the DVSA, yeah, but your customer is paying you to become a DVSA approved driving instructor. So guess what you should be delivering? <coughs> the DVSA National Standards. It helps as well, if you think about it. Yeah? It helps, because they're not confused. It's simple. Because if they conform to the DVSA National Standards and teach within that framework, when they get to take their exams, what will happen? They'll probably pass, won't they? Yeah? If they go with Joe Bloggs' ideas of driving and driver training, what happens now? Now, I'm not saying Joe Bloggs can be brilliant. They may pass. They may pass, <laughs> yes. So we know they pass because people using our products are passing. Yeah, simple as that. Um, now, there's follow-up training. See, when you come and do a course with most people, at the end of that course, to become a trainer or any other, bye, thank you for your money. Cheers, mate. With us, you can pick up the phone, you can talk to us, just in the office, with me, Di, Susan McCormack, who wrote Practical Teaching Skills for Driving Instructors, and Sarah. We've got 100 years of experience in this business, just between the four of us. That's without our, our fleet of trainers as well. But also, Di will offer you a day's training after you've attended our training training course to help you. Because you know what happens when you have a course? You've had two days training, guess what happens when you go away? You forget it, don't you? So we offer a free refresher day, if you want it. Yeah. It's not compulsory, but we offer that. And then we help you with bits of the course you may not have understood, motivating yourself, how to sell, because you're going to go away, reflect, think about what you're doing, and then you're going to go, Shh, why didn't I ask Graham that question when he presented the train and train course? In fact, it's quite eerie, because the last time I was in this room, they're yeah, standing here. I was delivering the trainer trainer course to 12 ADIs in Kent, which is quite interesting, really, because I just I only just cottoned on from this position, this room. Yeah. The ticket package now. The ticket package. Oh, it's a joke. Nike will not get us. Yeah. The ticket package. Yeah. Okay. You can have these logos. We 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 will. Give you these logos, give you loosely, because you will, there's a small charge to put on your cars, yeah, to promote the business as well, because you can't, you know, you've got to pay for free and that sort of stuff. But TICKET stands for Tri Coaching Instructor Training. And Sue would be very pleased with herself if she would be TICKET. <laughs> okay, now it's a holistic course. What the hell does that mean? Well, the course consists of 12 modules and a PDI module. In module one, we cover 
Part one, part two, and guess what? Part three. Part three. From the moment we start, because we know, okay, and I've been training ADIs, PDIs become driving instructors for well, a couple of decades now. We know that what happens is traditionally they go off and do part one, which was a theory. Yeah. They go off and do part two, which is the driving, and then they come to do part three, and guess what? They know nothing and can't drive. Because it's test based. Guess what happens when you pass a test if you're not going to use that knowledge? You lose it. Yeah, use it or lose it. And because the theory was done, what, three, four months prior to the part three? Gone. And it was only choose a multiple choice tick list anyway. So you guess it wrong. And so you didn't learn it. And of course, if you haven't learned it, the problem that you then have is if you're going to help somebody else, you're already a bit screwed, aren't you? And then part two, of course, if you have been driving one way for 20 years, you then get trained, six to 20 hours, just say, of training to pass the part two test. Guess what happens when you pass some weeks afterwards? You go back to the old habits. You know this because when you teach your learners and they pass their test, they're fantastic, yeah? Have you ever picked them up six weeks, two months later? And you go, who told me? <laughs> what? This is complete garbage. So what makes you think that PDIs and ADIs are any different? Welcome, come in and take a seat. It's way up the front. Um, yeah, so it's the same thing. So I know as a trainer that by the time, if we don't do it in a round, holistic fashion, yeah, link me. Yeah, it's got to be linked in. Yeah, absolutely. So this is what makes this is what makes us different, really. Yeah, there might be others doing it, but we're used to doing it this way. So you can also deliver your own in-car training. That means you don't have to completely follow our course. Yeah, you can add the bits in that you're good at. What happens is. You can pass this around actually. This is a complete book of reference material you get on the train and training course. And we give you guidance to how to deliver each module. It's guidance, which means it's not black and white, which means you don't have to do what we tell you. Yeah? But you're guided because you're not necessarily familiar with this course book and this material. But all you need to learn is module one. Because when your client turns up, what are you going to deliver to them? And then all you need to learn after that is module two. So you don't have to learn the whole course. Because you've got the skills, you just need to learn a bit more how to deliver it. And it's only one way you're going to get better at doing this. You know what that is? Practice. Practice. I'm not ready. Now, you'll never be ready. I remember my first, it's the first time I gave, it was embarrassing, I'll tell you. I, I remember the guy, Peter Cartwright, he passed the bow out. Yeah, it, weren't, it weren't due to my training, I can tell you, because my training was absolute crap. Yeah. Hands up, I knew it was as well. So I went off and did an advanced certificate of adult education, stage one, two, and three at Canterbury University, and learned how to teach adults. Which helped, because that's what comes to us. So it helped my skills, but I'm now able to pass some of that training on to you good people. Oh, they get an online course as well. So before, before you go out and teach module one, you get a little video of us telling you what's in module one and what you're going to be delivering. So does the client. Now this is the <coughs> amazing thing. Anyone been teaching trainers? Anyone been teaching ADI trainers? Okay, so historically, what happens in the past, yeah, you set your clients some homework, don't you? Yeah. And then they come back and they haven't done it. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Absolutely correct. The amazing thing about this course is they come back and they've done their homework, which for you, as the trainer, makes life so easy. So, so easy. Because they're doing it online, they're getting videos, they've got the course book to work through, which is their reference material. And of course, they're engaged now in their learning. And they can't cheat, because otherwise they're just wasting their money. And if you think about it, why did they come to you anyway? 
want something. And they want something, yeah? But sometimes when we want something, what we're not prepared to do is to put in some work to get it. Yeah, you know that, I mean, this world we live in, I want it now, you haven't got to earn it. There's 12 modules. Funny enough, these 12 modules last about three and a half hours each. Do the maths. 12 times three and a half? 42 hours. 42 hours. Guess what 42 hours will allow your PDI to do, if you wish? Go on a pink licence. So this course covers off getting your pink licence as well. And then once they've got a pink licence, there's a PDI section of the course as well to help them develop so they can go on and pass their part through. Because we know what happens when they become a trainee, don't we? Everything you taught them? Yeah, you're going back to square one quite often because people learn internally, don't they? They work it out for themselves. But in that working out for themselves, do they get it right first time? So we need to look after them and develop them. Especially now, because and I think if you go and speak to um, to John Sheridan at the DVSA, and you can tell him I kept mentioning his name, so because he didn't like that. <laughs> but he, he will say it's not the what, you know, it's not what you do. That's not what we're teaching. Not what we're teaching. You. It's how you do it. Yeah, and that's quite a skill for us as trainers to be able to do. We can tell people what to do, can't we? But how do you develop the skill on how they do it? This course develops that skill on how how people learn. And then we also, with this course, we give the PDI a resource pack, resource pack that includes part one online training study, um, books and presentation material, so that's um, some cards and some diagrams to play with, because we will cover off visual, audio and kinesthetic learning. You know VAC? Anyone know the VAC? Just basically, the, the way that we learn is visual, yeah, through our eyes, audio through talking and listening, kinesthetic through doing, yeah, and then there is VARC, which is read write, but read write is not really that good when you're going down, you know, the, the A20 at 50 miles an hour, is it read write? So um, we tend to focus on that. They do the read write in their course book, yeah. so we cover it all off. So why should you take this training? Because if you want to develop your skills, diversify or grow the business, then this course will really help you. It will give you what you need. There is a problem, yeah? and the problem I'm going to say is you. Because we will give you everything you need. Guess what you've got to do? Do you cover marketing in the course? We help you with marketing, yes. In the two days, not intensely, we do cover it a little bit. I'm not going to go through the agenda of the course, but we do cover it off, but we don't cover it off as a market. Free, free training day we do. But Di will do this with you when you have the free training day. So we'll cover off that marketing. So, the agenda on the course. If you come on the course, introductions and goals. Funny <coughs> goals keeps cropping up, doesn't it? Yeah? Then what happened on the last one, goal setting? Goals? Mm. Why? You need to know what you want to achieve. Because in a way, with what I'm talking about today, what have I asked you a little bit about? What you want, so that I can start to think, when I look at this at the end, and go, right, what do I need to cover off? I, can, I know that I can talk to the audience and give you what you wanted, or what you asked for. And I might have given you that by the time we get there anyway. Um, oh look, we look at the former situation with part three. Why? Yeah, but it's not there, is it? Instruction is still needed. Yeah? You know, instruction will keep you alive. Yeah? So we, still, we will look at that former situation, but we will look at the way that model was because it was a different form of training. It was behavioural based. It was a guy with Skinner. I won't go into Pavlov's dogs now. If you've heard of Pavlov's dogs, but I'll tell you what it was. It used to be based on, right? Stimulus, response, reward. When the examiner speaks, check your mirror. So, how are you doing? Yeah? Res 
response. <laughs> yeah? And look, I know drive instructors say, well, it, I've heard them. Go up to the test, they go, look, when he's on the speech, check your mirrors. Don't matter what he says, check your mirrors. You'll be checking your mirrors. Be cool. Yeah? So check them all. Yeah? Because then you're covered. Yeah? So when the exam reward, if you check your mirrors all the way through the test, you will pass on your mirrors. You won't fail. So stimulus, examiner's talks, response, the nodding dog, reward, you'll pass the test. That was what the old fashioned training was based on. But now we're coaching in client centre. Oh look, you get a break. Depending on what course you get, you might get coffee, tea and biscuits, you might get a donut, or it depends on what hotel I've booked. I'm not always good at booking hotels. Um, they're all nice, but um, the standard of, of, of biscuit is not doing what I expect. <laughs> That's what it's all about, Greg. Yeah, yeah. Right, <laughs> so we will look at what makes a good lesson. The reason we look at what makes a good lesson is because if you don't know what makes a good lesson, how are you going to help somebody else? Yeah. So it's really important that you know what you're doing, yeah, and why, and where's that come from, and what makes a good trainer. Because it would be a good idea, wouldn't it, if you come on a trainer trainer course, so you have some idea of what a good trainer looks like, yeah, and what skills that they have. Then you have lunch. I'll just touch on lunch. Varies from absolutely excellent to three course buffet, wonderful, to a jacket potato, yeah? or sandwiches curling up at the edges. Um, I'm not responsible for the lunches, but some are really, if you get the right course, some are really fantastic. Because I know some people just come on their courses for the <laughs> And then we'll spend the whole afternoon working on the DVS stage standards and how to put them in practice and where to find them. You don't need to know them inside out. But if you're gonna be a trainer, best that you know the DVSA standards, yeah? The standards check, and unit six. If any, does anyone not know what I'm talking about when I go roll six, unit six? Okay, that's fine, look it up, it's in the standards. It's also in our <coughs> walk around. I'm not gonna go into it, because guess how long that will take? <laughs> yeah, and I haven't got long left. We then have another break, yeah. A hotel is a holiday in Brentwood. You've got donuts. Mini donuts. Should have missed that one. Should have booked it. <laughs> and then we look at ticket online and we go through the course and how to use the course and how to put the course into practice and how to market the course and the pricing structure, the structure, etc. Okay. Um, I haven't got much time for this, so I'm going to put them all up. I was going to do this, but I'm going to run out of time, I can tell. Um, ticket online, just a bit about the product. Um, they get course books, training material, and they get every time you deliver a training session, you write a report. And that report online triggers the release of the next training session. So they don't have the whole lot at once. They get fed it bit by bit by bit, which helps. Because if you give everyone, here's the whole course, and you go, shit, where do I start? Yeah? So we know that. We know it's overwhelming if you give everyone everything at once. So we give it bit by bit. Of course, if they really wanted it all at once, you could trigger all the emails off and all the PowerPoint presentations off. But we don't necessarily think that's a good idea. There's some chairs up the front here. You want to take a seat? Okay, okay. okay. sit next to your friend. Okay. Are you, are you going to be holding hands and cutting? Yeah? Okay, she's checking. <laughs> okay. And so the course book is interactive for the for the client, it engages them, and the dual branding means that it's your school, your business. And that looks you makes you look professional. And if you were to write this course, yeah, have you got a spare year or more? What a spare year or more? Yeah. yeah. Well, I wrote one years and years ago, and that took me ages. This one is far more complex because we deliver it online a lot of stuff. And we have what? How many hours offline? It's about online? 35 hours online. How many? About 35 hours. 35 hours extra training. So, now this is a sales pitch. Yeah. If you're in the room, you're interested. If you sign up today and pay in full, I'll say £100 off the course. Okay, so the course usually costs 600, it'll be reduced to 500, which I think is a bargain because we don't do this. But like I said, if I'm going to stand and present, I want to offer you people in the room something for turning up. So, how many days is the course? Two days. Okay, and then if you didn't 
want to shell out the 500, they persuaded me to be nice. Yeah. Doesn't happen often. I know, you don't happen. <laughs> yeah. And so you could pay an instalment. It's only here today, I'm not doing it otherwise. Um, and you get a £50 Amazon voucher once you've attended in completed. Okay? Which means that if you've got a loved one, hey, or you know, Christmas, you can save it up. Hey, it's a nice handy little per handy little present. Yeah, darling. Yeah, honey. Yeah. Look what I've got here. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't know that he spends 550 quid or she doesn't know. You don't tell him that. You just give them a 50 pound Amazon voucher. It works. Trust me. I've only been divorced twice. <laughs> <laughs> this is a limited offer. I'm going to do it for the first six people who sign up today because the course generally is for six people. Yeah. Um, we do sometimes go over six. The last time I run this course here, uh, I had 12 in the room, but that's unusual. We usually run it at six and close it because we only have two trainers delivering one doing the presentation, one coming to the in car training on the next day, so we have two, but we can put in other trainers if we wish to do so, okay, depends on demand as always, now then, our next course is in Brighton, July, Brighton, think of the weather, think of the ice cream, yeah, think of the seagulls, think of your chips, you've got to be careful when you're out there, ice creams, I'll tell you what, but next course is in Brighton, July 15th, 16th, so if you're interested, come and talk to me, okay? And have a chat. And come and talk downstairs. We're gonna do some salsa in a minute, if anyone's up with that, yeah? yeah. <laughs> so thank you. Course availability. I'll just put these up for you, because we do get about a bit. Okay. Oh, that one. Okay, so. Let me just ask before I finish. Industry awareness, have you, did that just give you a little bit more awareness about what could happen for you in the industry? Um, could you use this to expand your school? I think so, you don't have to answer that. It's only important what I think, isn't it? But if you're interested in diversifying and what next, then this will give, you have a written call, so I mean, what the hell are you gonna do? Make it up on the back of a fact packet, yeah? Because I think that sometimes, like when I, when I visit some training establishments, I think, oh yeah, what, do you, what, what brand of fags do you smoke? Yeah, because that's what it seems like. Um, look, our company, improving standards. Our company is all about road safety, raising standards, and developing APIs. That's what we do at tri Partnership. That's what's important for us. That's what drives us. So that probably covers off everything that you, you were interested in. Um, it should improve the standards for ADIs. It should improve the standards for PDIs, learning, and it will improve the standards for those learners because they would have been trained in a coaching client centered fashion. It is difficult for a lot of us because of that changing style. Some of us have got stuck. It's no problem. The old, the old way works. But the only problem is, it's not the new way, is it? And so if you're gonna be training people to become driving instructors, you need to bring yourself up to date. Um, I don't know if that helped from the PBI viewpoint. I don't know whether that, if this would have helped. I can ask, sorry. Did that help you in any way from the PBI's viewpoint of what to expect? That's a yes, okay. And yeah. You can, you, if you're going to expand your business, it will diversify, you'll bring in more business, and generally speaking, you charge more, don't you, as in a, a, to, to do train the trainer or drive the instructor training, because of your IP. It's not about your time, it's about your IP, your intellectual property. You sell your intellectual property, not your time. Yeah? Too many driving instructors sell their time. You sell your intellectual property to clients. Yeah? Not your time. Okay, I'll just, just go on. Yeah. <laughs> and you hold, like you hold a hand through the whole registration process for all there. Right, for audit, we have a, we have another course for audit. But yes, if you want to become audit registered, we will help. Now I'm going to let you into a secret. Okay. If you're a B and you want to become audit, you know you can't. Okay. If you speak to me. <laughs> yeah? Do you know John Sarah then? No, 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 no. I, I, I can help you get another standards check for 
when you want it. If you speak to me, you can pay. No, I would do that for free, but you put in a way, Tom, yes, because you would have to sign up and buy our course, yes, and be one of our clients, and I will help you get a standards check sooner, because I know that the DBSA doesn't want you to bolt in, and I know that our course has covered all the off and loads and loads of trains, because they use this course when they go and do their audit registration. So you have got to be thinking, oh, no, this we will help you get an aid because it's in our interest for you to get an aid and become already registered because that will improve standards and low standards. <coughs> okay? Um, any questions? Sorry? No, it's not. It's £198. Pounds. It's a one day course, it's part of the place, um, and there's a lot of information. I can't say no, you don't. You would be you you would become as a trainer. If you if, if you're coming in an orbit course, I'd expect you to come as a trainer already with your own material or use it as. Okay? Because no, you're not gonna get this that would be my expectation because otherwise why what are you doing there on the orbit course if you're not already a trainer? You need to be a trainer first and then do the orbit. Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay. Anybody else? Hey look, come and chat to us. Anyone interested? Because I've got I'll hunt you down. Hey, I'm nice at I've got exactly the same. All right. Thank you very much.